Crabs have to do with working out. Well, turns out they are actually the names of some tricky exercise moves. Yes, they are, and Cindy helps us try them out in this week's Workout Wednesday. It's an exercise I haven't done since I was a kid. Bear crawls and crab walks. The last time I saw these was elementary school gym class. We're actually on our hands and our toes, and we're facing down, and it's an overall body workout. Moving your right hand with your right foot, make your way across the grass. Try to keep your body in a straight line. It definitely felt a little awkward. We're moving in sync, hands and feet, and, and you're, you're working your core, your legs, and your upper body. After one pass back and forth, I was tired. Then we switched to the crab. You're just having to propel your body, you know, backwards or forwards, upside down. You're using your own body weight to work muscles you might miss in a regular gym session. You don't need the gym membership. You don't have to, um, you know, spend a lot of money on equipment. You can do it out in your backyard. You can do it in a park. You can do it out in the middle of the track, just like we are today. I felt a little silly at first, but Cindy says the calorie burn is worth it. Don't feel stupid. You know, you're working out and you're burning calories, so it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. So uh, the ladies staring at us from across the track, <laughs> oh, we don't care about them. No, it's okay. But look, the bear crawls are tough, Yeah. but the crab walks are even tougher. And it kind of, um, you know, I could feel my wrists yeah. working, muscles I don't mm -hmm. usually do full-on full, full -on push ups. so that was a new thing for me. Um, yeah. Definitely muscles you don't usually use. And again, you, you can do it at, uh, anywhere at any time. You can yeah. do it in your living room. You if sure you have can, to. yeah, with the kids. And then even. only your family's looking at you like you're nuts.